W. W. K. N. Z. The Dutch station. Greetings, you bad motherfuckers. Uncle Joey here. Sunday, December sixth. The Lord's Day in full effect. If you ain't got a heart on in one hand, a crucifix on the other, you're fucking slipping. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Joey here directing report. Directing. Where the fuck I'm directing from? From New Jersey here, giving you a fucking morning report. Vancouver, I love you. We're here, we're queer. December 6th, the sun's shining, the birds are chirping. It's your day to sling some dick. You know what I'm saying? You think Jesus stayed in that rock? It was raining out now? Fuck no. It started sunning. He fucking looked out the little crevice of the rock. He pushed that motherfucker and he went out there and slung some dick. And that's what you should be doing. But for right now, we're going to start this party off right here. Just you and I. That's it. Smoking this little morning number. <coughs> I already got the coffee going. I got the lungs going. And it's you and me against the world. Okay? It's you and me against the fucking world, or me and you against these motherfuckers. So you gotta have your goals ready, you have your oatmeal, you washed your ass, you took a good morning shit, and now you're out there attacking motherfuckers for all it's worth. You understand me? Don't forget to pack the 22 today. You see one of these fucking Akaids, you shoot him right in the fucking head, fuck him. Pulling out guns at my motherfucking Chinese buffet, you know what I'm saying? But that's it. Long Island was fucking sensational last night. I love you motherfuckers. The home of Julia serving. <coughs> I love Long Island. First show, a couple politically correct people, but we had to fucking change them around a little bit. The second show, we took it to the next limit, you know what I'm saying? But besides that, that's it. We got a beautiful week going. I'm in New York till Wednesday. Hopefully we'll do a podcast Wednesday night. And that's it, man. I'm happy you guys are getting your day together, getting stoned to the gills on your way to the gym. God bless you, motherfuckers. My gym today is my daughter and my wife. I got to take them around and show them around New York City. So in New York City today, you see me, make sure you say fucking hello. I'll be around fucking four stars of debt this afternoon because I got nothing for the next three days. So I'm starring it of death in it. You understand me? I got the motherfucking asthma inhaler. I got it all. I'll be up in Harlem today. I was up in Harlem walking around the other day. Oh shit, 420 in motherfucking Sweden. That's what I'm talking about. We're international with this fucking show right now. Nobody can stop us. Like I said, even if they're fucking bombing us, it's us in a fucking shelter talking to each other, smoking dope, holding on for, for dear whatever the fuck's going on. No, I don't give a fuck. You know me, guys. I do what the fuck I got to do. I don't get nothing stands in my way. Fuck it. You got a plan to do, you go do it. Everything else is background music. Ah, uh, me, this is for a drink. Oh, fuck your mother. I got shit to do. I'm picking up an envelope, motherfuckers. I'm going to go and fucking uh, hang out with some people and not fucking assert my fucking goals. Your goals are the number one thing. 
I think the problem with people is they get their goals done, they get all fired up, and they get distracted. People call you up, huh? We're gonna go look at a fucking mountain. Who gives a fuck about a mountain? It'll be there tomorrow. You take care of what you gotta take care of, and everything fucking works itself out. And let's take sacrifice. Listen, sometimes you gotta sacrifice. Everybody wants to stay at home, get their dick sucked, and eat ice cream. But sometimes you gotta go out there and make it fucking happen. You know what I'm saying? It's blood and feathers, bitches. Very nice back here. I'm smoking pot with you people behind a fucking dumpster. I get bit by a rat, but I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because this is what makes it happen for us right here. A little te cha che in the fucking mornings. Who else has a te ta te with you every fucking morning? Smokes a joint with you? I'm like your Uncle Joey that don't talk to the family no more. I borrowed 800 from your father. I never gave it back, so I'm not a lot over. But we still fucking tech. You follow me? Because you got to still fucking wake up and go for it every goddamn day. That's my secret. But I never fucking stopped going for it. I didn't give a fuck. I had to go. Coked up. Fucking, I didn't give a fuck. When I got up the next morning, I went and did what I had to do. Nothing stops you today. Nothing stops you this week. Listen, there's three weeks left in the fucking year. How do you want to start fucking 2016? Like a Jamoke in the same position you're in? Fuck no. You got to start hustling today. By, by the first, shit will be cracking lacking. Everybody will be resting on the second. There you are counting fucking 20s like a doctor. People coming down here with their fucking kids. They're smelling reef and they're looking around. Meanwhile, I'm behind a fucking dumpster like a fucking professional. Hey, kid, listen. These motherfuckers got to get up early in the morning to put one on Uncle Joey, all right? Always remember that. And they got to get up early in the morning to put one on you. That's what makes you motherfuckers special. That you're running with your Uncle Joey now. And it gives you little coaching things along the way. Fuck these motherfuckers. Go. Today's Sunday. Go do your thing. Write your goals. Watch a football game. Get you whatever you need to do. But tomorrow you put the fucking battle face back on. And you got no time to fuck around. All right? I don't know if I told you this, people. I'm stoned to the gills. This joint took me to the next fucking level. Besides, I did a couple vapor hits up in the room before I came down. That's right, motherfucker. Zero to a hundred, nigga. Real quick. Real quick. Real motherfucking quick. But I love you guys. I'll catch you guys later from some disclosed location in Manhattan, all right? So pay attention. Remember what I told you when you hear bing? That's Uncle Joey calling. That's Uncle Joey knocking. Stay black, all right? I love you, motherfuckers. Look at those eyeballs. That's an eyeball of a professional. Whenever he comes to town, he just drops a piece of fucking hash on me and tells me this is the shit that, you know, made Jesus wake up in a fucking cave. This is, this is, this is, this is action right here, people. Little fairies wear boots. Come on now. Oh shit. Then I looked through the window and surprised what I saw. Fairies wear boots and dancing without his ball. Oh shit. This pipe is still alive, you know what I'm saying? You can't walk on one leg. Ash, pipe, Sabbath. Come on. Wednesday. People do this shit on a Friday, think they're having a great night. Yeah, fairies wear boots and you gotta believe, man. Kick this down, people. We're taking it back to vinyl. Old school. We sold our souls. All right, we're gonna start this podcast. How long, Lee? Five fucking minutes. So tune in and get ready to rock, because, you know, we've been doing this shit for, what, the last 30 minutes? Smoking. Breaking down albums, talking about our future, whatever the fuck, you know, this is it.
Let this fucking guitar go to the top of the building. Jump off. Fuck it. Who gives a fuck? You're unemployed. You don't want to fucking salute the flag. You want to hang out with ISIS? Go fuck yourself, cocksucker. It's the church. You got to recognize. You got to get registered. You got to take VD shots. You got to take your fucking... What the fuck am I talking about? You see what happens? Young people don't smoke hashish because it fucks up your mind. You understand me? Not, don't do drugs. That's it. Do jumping jacks. Go fucking sew a sweater with your mother. I don't give a fuck. I just did it though. I don't give a fuck because you're fucked up already. You got no hope with you. You're already gone. You can't join the service. When you, once you can't join the service, you got no use for you. What the fuck? They'll just shoot you in the head. This is what it's all about, people. Just having fun. This is it. Who the fuck does What uncle does this with you? This is family right here. This is it. Fuck Olive Guard with that fake fucking, that fucking Wonder Bread Wop fucks. We're here, cocksucker. We're family. Here we go. Light your house on fire. You're taking your motherfuckers deep tonight. You haven't been this deep since... You sniffed that black hooker's ass, holy shit, remember that in eighth grade? You, you, ever, you ever sniff a black hooker's asshole? It's a party, it smells like gunpowder and cocoa butter, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it, cocksuckers. Oh shit, oh shit, look at my left eye. Oh, my right eye, I'm sorry, I'm all fucked up. Who the fuck you think you're dealing with Wednesday night? Eight o'clock, the church. He went to the doctor to see what he could give him. Because he had a rash like Lee's. What do you want from me, people? I don't know what else to tell you. I thought, what are you going to do? Turn on Conan, jump up and down? What are you going to do? Watch the fucking The Tonight Show? What are you going to do? <laughs> Everything's politically correct. Got to watch commercials. You see any fucking commercials here? It's just us banging it out, cocksuckers. But in three minutes, the podcast will start, and you got fucking... I don't forget nothing. That's what fucking makes you a savage. Beside that, we're back. It's a fun-filled week. I hope you enjoyed Rudy Sarzo. But it's the Olympics of reefer here tonight, motherfuckers. You're like, Joey, what the fuck are you smoking? It's not what we're smoking. If we're, it's what ain't we smoking tonight. We got stars. Purple and red ones. We got acid. We got everything. You understand me? Everything you need to get the party started right. And that's the most important thing. If you throw a bad party, nobody will want to hang out with you. You understand me? You got to throw good parties. You got to have plenty of water. You got to have ice cubes to rub on your face in case somebody passes out. And you gotta have the right reefer and the right combination of people. That's a party, you follow me? Not hanging out with a bunch of assholes with hats on. Take that fake lingo somebody else, somewhere else, like a Starbucks somewhere or something, where you can talk about that shit and make believe people give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because here in the church, what's happening now, we don't give a fuck. You understand me? We're dropping facts about life, which is what's important. What's the breathing technique? No. <laughs> Warm up the lungs. Feel that belly button going into your spine. There you go. There you oh my go. God, the, the lens is foggy from all the weed. That's right, the lens is foggy. We gotta unfog this motherfucker right now. There you go. Better. Look at me. Smoking and shit. Elvis didn't even look this good. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. When you're down, that's the shit. That's the shit. That's the Mac. That's the Mac right there. That's the Mac, Lee Sayat. That's the Mac. Did you know that? There's something I found out recently. I know a lot of people. I ask questions. You follow me? Anyway, I hope you guys are going to have a great week. After Wednesday, everybody's fucking brain dead anyway, thinking about this and thinking about that and what they're going to do on their fucking day off. Me, I don't give a fuck, you understand me? Every day is the same, 24-7. Slinging dick, taking names, and going for broke. But most importantly, being a little better than the day before. That's it. 
That's all you want to do. You ain't no fucking swing of the root. You know what I'm saying? You're just trying to be a little better than what you were yesterday. I have no fucking idea. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, we're going for broke tonight. If you're in the smoke, if you're in the mood to smoke reefer, tonight's your lucky fucking night, okay? Tonight's the night. I don't want any no stories. I don't want to hear that your pussy's hurting, that your asshole got banged too hard over the weekend. I got nothing to do with Uncle Joey. All I have to do is make sure you see the devil and get prepared for the week ahead, if not just tomorrow. Because, listen, Thursday don't matter. Tomorrow's the day you wake up, you shoot out the box like a fucking meth addict, <laughs> and you're ready to fucking go. How would you, if you were on meth, how would you leave the house? Like a savage. But you're not on meth. You sit there all day <laughs> playing fucking video games, and you wonder why the walls are caving in on you. You got to get out there. You got to get some vitamin D. You got to breathe. You got to interact with people. Hold on, I got to switch the album. I'm going to put on my favorite cut from this album, 1981, Def Lep, It's High and Dry, their second release. One of the albums that put me over the top. Sometimes somebody calls your mother a fucking fat cunt. Sometimes somebody stabs your sister. Some, sometimes somebody kicks your dog and sets you over the top. This album set me over the fucking top. Many a night I sat there depressed. Snorting coke, drinking, thinking about fucking taking a swan dive. But this album saved me, you follow me? Don't go nowhere. You know, we're just doing our job over here. Fucking, I got the daughter, I got the podcast, I got the wife, and I'm trying my best to be a fucking comic, and I got a podcast, and you know, I got no time to fuck around for fucking uh, dicking around. Or as they say in Spanish, no tengo tiempo para mi mariconería, vaya. Porque a mí si me tienen que mamá me la pinga hoy. So it's third Labor Day weekend. I didn't come at you Mondays because I know you were out fucking around, jumping up and down, playing volleyball at the beach, thinking you're cool. But you know what, motherfuckers? The reality is it's the fourth quarter, bitch. If you don't put it together now, next thing you know, it's going to be fucking Christmas Eve. You're going to be sitting there like a fucking mortadella on the couch with no presents and ain't no giving you shit. You follow me? You got to get it together. Your year starts right now. This is when I go to double work, double time for Uncle Joey now. I already had meetings this morning. I fucking wrote this morning. I took my kid to school. Listen, it's all over. I don't fuck around. I ain't got time to be fucking around. Neither do you. Unless you're on a boat getting your dick sucked with that Chinese guy that got beat up by United and 12 of his fucking invix on a fucking boat sniffing your fucking pipe. You got to get up every day and hustle with fucking uh, two legs here. I'm like an octopus. I'm out getting money. I got eight fucking hands. I got one money in your pocket, the other fucking finger. I got it up your ass. And the other finger smelling the finger that was up your ass, up your fucking nose. I ain't fucking around no more. You don't even go back to get fucking momentum. You understand me? Everything's a shame in life. But you know what? We move forward. We smoke our reef and we write our goals. And some way or another, we make it fucking through. It's fucking, uh, you know, it's Friday. All right, and you got to be tip-top, my ghoul. You can't have nothing on your mind. You got to be ready to sling dick. <coughs> it's a beautiful day to be alive. Thursday, February 9th, the day the devil was buried at sea. If you look at my eyes, you could tell it's been a rough fucking week. Two nights of Sid with Lee, fucking <laughs> jujitsu, fucking flying through the air. I gotta go to acupuncture today and clean out my adrenals, my liver, my gallbladder. It's over. I'm on the straight and narrow after this. No more fucking sugar cubes for me. Let me tell you something. Last night, I can't see without my glasses. I must have put a couple extra drops on that fucking sugar cube because I was off and running, Jack. I was seeing things I haven't seen in years. It's always good to get that type of stuff out of your way once or twice a year and move on with your life. And now we're ready, cocksuckers. It's Thursday, you got the world by the balls. Your Uncle Joey's here. That's it and that's that. Why are we fucking talking? It's time to spark. Poor Lee Syatt. He's at home with fucking ice bags on his head and shit. He don't know we're doing this again tomorrow night. <laughs> it's fucking train. But listen, when we're in training, we're in training. I know you guys think I'm fucking nuts or whatever. I'm just trying to have a good time, man. Listen, I'm 54 next week. I'm just trying to have a good time. You try to just have a good time. I don't have a good time here in California with these fucking people. That little office with Lee and Dean Delaware or Joe or somebody comes to visit Ralphie. That's my fucking world. That's why I do my best fucking work, guys. So thank you very much for supporting the podcast. But enough with the fucking chitter chat. Let's smoke a little reefer.
It's Thursday. I can't send you out there into the real fucking world. You know, if you're not tuned up, I'm ready to go. You know what? Who the fuck am I? Let's smoke another bowl. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sit here with one leg, fuck around with you people. It's Thursday. You gotta go out fucking swinging, all right? It's like two o'clock in some places, four o'clock in some places. I don't give a fuck. The result is the same. We all get to see the devil just at different times. There you go. I feel good. As long as you guys are good and your goals are intact and you're focused and you're ready to dig in there, it's over. You know I love you motherfuckers. Have a great day. I'll see you motherfuckers tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. And don't show up without no reefer because I'll stab you in the fucking eye. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Don't let nobody fucking kid you or tell you otherwise. If you're above six, you started the day on the right foot, you know what I'm saying? But I don't have to tell you that. Because you know that already, you fucking savages. You fucking savages. What's happening, you bad motherfuckers? Uncle Joey here representing, representing life, slinging dick and heart and balls. You understand me? If that's not what you're into, get the fuck off this feed right now because we're going deep into the murky waters. It's Friday. You made it. Another fucking week down the drain and look at you. You tip-top magoo all week. You didn't know. What am I going to do with my life? Who gives a fuck? Put on a pair of pants, squeeze your ball, salute the flag, and let them know you're fucking coming in. You understand me? Why walk down there? Why run down there where you can fuck one of them when you can walk down there and fuck them all? That's the philosophy here. But Joey, what's with the fucking ear beating? I thought we were throwing down. We are throwing down. Uncle Joey's over here blowing clouds of the shit that matters. The devil's, the devil's letters, a.k.a. The gift from God to the devil to calm him down. Here, take this fucking devil. Calm down, all right? Smoke some of this. Spread it around. Just like that. It's science. It, remember when I used to say science? It's science, people. Everything we do has a different science to it. Even if it's a fucking art, there's a science wrapped around it. When are you guys going to fucking realize that shit? Oh, shit. It's going to be a good day. I, should, I feel like Conor McGregor in the eighth round. He's all dizzy. He's got the ice bags on him. But anyway, you people are bad motherfuckers, and you know I love you, all right? Somebody didn't tell you today, I'm going to fucking tell you. You're a bad motherfucker. Go in that shower, grab your fucking nuts, and tell the world somebody's sniffing my fucking nutsack today. Because I ain't got time to fuck around no more. I've been fucking around, taking it easy. And number three, for you people who get angry with me about dabbing, listen, motherfuckers, I, be, I dance to the beat of my own drum. Like your mother told you when you were six, just because somebody else jumps off a bridge, you're going to jump off a bridge. What, what makes me fucking Joey D is I do what the fuck I want to do, when I want to do it, how the fuck I want to do it. I don't give a fuck what people are doing. You understand me? Why be like everybody else? Your goal is to be fucking unique. Your legacy is for them to say, you know what, Jimmy Magoo was a solid fucking dude. He danced to the beat of his own drum. <laughs> I never done DMT. I don't do none of that shit. Uncle Joey hits for the fucking fences like Canseco on steroids. If you're going to do it, do it. If you're not going to do a head of acid and break yourself down for 12 hours, go fuck yourself. You understand me? If you're not going to smoke the best the Lord's got to offer and you want to dibble and dabble at Starbucks with your fucking little faggy friends talking about the economy of the eco ecosystem, who gives a fuck, okay? You're wasting your fucking time. Focus on what's in front of you, cocksucker, so you never get to be sucking. Now, with that note... Being a human being is the first thing you need to be, but tight second is being an individual.
That's why I don't give a fuck, Jack. I do what the fuck I want to do, and I suggest you to do the same if you want to make it happen. Let's smoke some fucking reef. It's Thursday. I want you guys to go out there with the right attitude, with the right state of mind, letting these motherfuckers know that you're in no mood today. That you're taking hostages, you're getting your dick sucked, and you're squirting on fucking eyeballs. You understand me? You're taking it to the next level. You know why? Because you don't give a Frenchman's fuck. Enough is enough. How many times are you going to sit there and get kicked like a fucking dog? But anyway, excuse me while I take a hit of this one-eyed Jew weed. some conquistador shit if you're looking to fucking take over an island today. Beside that, it's all about you motherfuckers and how you're gonna make it work today. Did you do your 22 push-ups? Did you write your goals? Did you write what was in your heart? So when you went out there, you know exactly what the fuck you're focused on, what the fuck the prize is today. Because if you ain't on the prize, somebody else is. And by the time you get there, it's gonna be the same story. <laughs> I lost my job to you. Go, go fuck yourself. You gotta be on point on a fucking daily, you understand me? Let them think you're fucking high. Like the way, huh? Eh, he's probably high, I'm high. I'm watching you like a fucking hawk dog sucker. Go ahead. Go for it. Reach for it. I'm way ahead of you. <sighs> These motherfuckers don't know what you know. You know what you know that these motherfuckers don't know? That heart beats everything. You can come up with 20 fucking books. The size of my fat little fucking heart will overcome anything. I don't give a fuck. You have to shoot me in the head with fucking 20 BB guns. I ain't stopping. You understand? They tried to stop me 30 years ago. Where would it get them? Where'd it get them? Nothing. Nothing. They've been trying to stop Uncle Joey for fucking years. But you know what? You know what this, You know what I got over anybody else? I don't give a fuck. I keep showing up. Persistence. Fuck them. Fuck them. You show up till you get what the fuck you want. That's what you have to do in life. Ain't nobody gonna give you dick. You understand me? The world don't owe you dick. If anything, you gotta get up there and fucking steal it. Who gives a fuck? You understand me? There's no conscience when you're burning in hell. You follow me? What the man said? I don't mind taking bread from the mouth of decadence. Fuck these motherfuckers. It's all about you today. Look at that, like a fucking doctor. Anyway, beside that, it's time for another bowl. Right or wrong? What? What? Right or wrong? You didn't show up here for me to fucking be, uh, you know, be fucking around. Here. I smoke another one, and let's smoke this out and plan the day out. So when you go out there, there's no misunderstandings. That's the most important thing in life. No misunderstandings. You lay your mark and you fucking enforce it like Tony in 84. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Who sank the boat? Uncle Joey did. <laughs> you dare enter this house. What's happening, you bad motherfuckers? Uncle Joey here, directing live from fucking the porch. For starters, I'm gonna give my condolences to the victims of fucking Orlando. This is something that's unnecessary and never has to happen in this fucking lifetime. My heart goes out to you. 
Beside that, what's happened, you bad motherfuckers? I don't want you to think I'm walking in here dragging a dog. I haven't been around for a couple days. I was in Omaha, Nebraska. And it's tough to periscope outside smoking reefer in Omaha when everybody's fucking looking for you. You understand me? So you gotta lay low. But fuck all that. Uncle Joey's here now, ready to fucking throw down. I got two different types of weed. You know me, dog. I'm a man of many reefers. We're going fucking deep into the hemispheres of love. I know, I miss you too, cocksuckers, but I got shit to do and people to see, and so the fuck do you. I can't be here smoking dope with you motherfuckers every day. What would that, what would that make me? Well, you guys know what I am. I don't hide nothing from nobody, you know me. I'm a reefer fucking smoking, R-rated, criminal fucking comic making a comeback. So if you can't take a joke, take a motherfucking shuttle, you understand me? The holy smoke, bitches, is as good as it gets. You blow the smoke on somebody, they fucking get hypnotized. They don't know what the fuck hit them. It's the Lord's Day. It's a beautiful motherfucking day to be alive. I had dinner with my family. I got my feet up. I'm getting ready for tomorrow. We got a big podcast at 3 o'clock. This Saturday night, me and Tommy Easton and Willie Barcena are the submission factory in fucking L.A. We're doing a benefit down there. Tommy Easton making a fucking comeback as usual. That bad motherfucker. And that's it. That's my fucking week. A couple jujitsus, some writing, a few spots at the store. But I know I got a fucking plan. You understand me? A man without a plan is not a man. Nietzsche. Anyway, fuck Nietzsche and the fucking horse he rode up on. It's you and me till the fucking wheels fall off. I feel good. Oh, that was a tremendous fucking hit. I'm rested and I'm ready for the week ahead. I got my goals written down. I got my plans written. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be prepared. These motherfuckers think I'm just smoking dope all day. They don't know that Charlie's in the bush. You understand me? And every time they're out fucking around, Charlie's in the bush getting stronger. That's me. You understand me? While all of them are jumping up and down, <laughs> and that should be you too. When well, they're jumping up and down, they think you're down and out. Meanwhile, you're plotting how to take over the fucking world. You follow me? Anyway, enough with the fucking chitter chatter, Joey. Let's spark this fucking soldier. Oh shit, who the fuck you think you're dealing with here? Some fucking, you know, Pineapple Express loving motherfucker. I'm the real deal Mongolia feel, baby. I was hitting the vapor pen on the fucking plane today like a savage. The guy next to me kept waking up from his fucking trance. Do you smell it? I don't smell nothing. I don't know nothing. I'm, I look straight ahead, all right? I suggest you do the same. But that was a long time ago, you know what I'm saying? That was then, this is now, bitches. I suggest you do the same. Get your shit together. Write your goals. Get, get the fuck out there. You know what you need? A fucking pen. I want to do this. I want to be the president. I want three fucking people to suck my dick daily. Write it down. Then write down how you're going to do it. And after that, attack it like a fucking soldier. They can't stop you. There's nothing stronger than the fucking power of the pen, guys. Tremendous, brother. Nothing like this. Nothing like smoking good reefer with family and friends. Eh or no eh? Eh or no eh? For us to smoke like this, this is a fucking privilege, you understand me? This is real fucking love. This is real, uh, how do they call it? I don't fucking know. I'm out of words, dog. You know me, dog. I'm three fucking bong hits deep. What, are you listening to me? You want to pay attention to me? Why? What, are you fucking retarded? Oh. What's it now? <coughs> anyway. You know, I love you motherfuckers. Don't forget the church tomorrow, 3 p.m. Be there or go fuck yourself. What else? I got a little show on Saturday. I'll be at the comedy store this week fucking around with you. But you know what, man? I love Sundays because you get a chance to fucking write what the fuck you're going to do. And then the next Sunday, you look at what you're going to do and you go, wow, I fucking did it. Look at Joey with his fucking doo-wop, doo-wop head. I don't know. My daughter's pulled my fucking head before. I don't give a fuck. Who am I? A model for Mad Magazine. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, I love you motherfuckers. Thank you for fucking, what do you think? Should we do another bowl? Fuck yeah. All right, come out of here. I smoke another fucking bowl of that to you. This weed is good tonight, dog. I ain't fucking with you. I'm hearing ambulances and shit. When you start hearing ambulances, that's when you know that weed is good. I love hearing ambulances. Sometimes I hear Vietnam people and bombs and shit. That's a complete different weed. That's when I just go in the room, put the pillow over my head and pray for the best. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Oh, I love you cocksuckers. You know what I'm saying? Where do you get this? What TV show? What fucking web page? We just get together. Family, love. We giggle. And then we go away. And then we come back. Because I'm not here all night. I'm just going to set a fucking camera up. 24 fucking hours with a little thing. And as soon as I smoke, we all smoke together. That, that's the next fucking mission we're going to do. If anybody's out there who can set this up, hit me up. Let's set a fucking camera up. 24 fucking right here. And when I come out, whether it's 2 in the morning, 3.30, you know, you know me. Dog. Anyway, I got to get the fuck out of here. You guys fucked me up, dog. You can't be doing this to your Uncle Joey. I'm an old man. I'm 53. You know, I thought I was on last night. I decided to smoke two fucking pipe loads. And look at you motherfuckers. You took me into murky waters on your own. Anyway, have a great night with your family. Uncle Joey loves you. Stay black. And I'll see you motherfuckers bright and early tomorrow. Ready to go. Like 6 a.m. type shit. I got a meeting at 9.30. I got to look good. You know what I'm saying? Bala binga. All right. Stay black. Bye. The sun's a chirping. You got a big dick and you're ready for the day. Oh, shit. We got some super glue from Perennial. And we got some fucking Saturn. You know what I'm saying? You want to go to Saturn? It's time to hang out with Uncle Joey on a Monday morning. Hey, I've been slinging dick. I've been giving out bubble gum. Fucking Nyack, New York. Fantastic. Fantastic. I had a great time. If you came to one of the shows, nobody, nobody is better than you. Except for that fucking Momo on Saturday night that wouldn't shut the fuck up like he did 18 fucking blast of coke. But that's the past. The future is in your hands, cocksucker. You know why? Because it's Monday. Do your push-ups. Write your goals. Pull out your dick and tell them how you're giving out milk and it ain't skim. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's load up on the first bowl of the fucking day. If I said that to you, I was lying. I was out here at like 6.15 fucking blasting off to nowhere. Look at the helicopters. They're watching Uncle Joey, but they can't stop us. I feel like fucking Henry Hill and Goodfellas at the end. But fuck it. Here we are. We're queer. You're ready to fucking go. Uncle Joey got your back. We got a podcast tonight. Eight o'clock. It's gonna fucking rock the house. Lee's in training. Beside that, I feel good. I look good. I got my hand up Mona Lisa's skirt and nobody fucking knows it. You understand me? We're banging out finger bangers and the asshole everywhere you got. You know why? Because you're a member of the church. You ain't got time to dilly dally and <laughs> what's going on today? Oh my god. I think I'm gonna get my passport and go to Nicaragua. Get the fuck out of here. You can't deal with it here. What the fuck? You gonna run away? Listen, spark a bowl, write your goals down, write down exactly what you want, give it six months, and you're right fucking there. How do I know? I lived it, cocksuckers. Enough with the cheddar chatter. We gotta spark up a little bit. Just like that. <coughs> Tip top Magoo bitches. Uncle Joey's here, ready to go on a Monday morning. I Joey, I needed you on Friday. Hey, go out in the yard, smoke yourself, hit yourself on the head with a stick, and Uncle Joey will appear. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I dream a genie. When you least expect me, I show up with a big dick and an umbrella. That's how we do it. And I suggest you do the same. It's Monday, baby boy. Whatever happened last week happened last week. Whatever happened last year, your girlfriend dumped you. I'm not feeling good. I'm going through a depression. Listen, I wipe my asshole with depression. You got to get up, look at the man in the mirror, and go, this is what I'm doing today, whether they like it or not. I don't give a fuck. While they're all goofing around, worried about, oh, my God, they Obama bugged. Who gives a fuck? I'm finger-banging Mona Lisa because nobody's watching me. Everybody's focusing on the stupidity things that they got on the news. Don't watch the news no more. You're not allowed to watch the news. The only thing you're allowed to watch is Periscope and Uncle Joey. I give you the real news. You know what the news is about today? You and how you're going to conquer the world. Not the rest of these people. Two kids got hit by a car. What's that got to do with me? You want to bring me down at 8 in the morning? I can't even enjoy my fucking cornflakes. You know what I'm saying? When I eat cornflakes, I want to be in a positive mood. Cornflakes is as American as can fucking be. Cornflakes and apple, you wash your asshole, you go out there like a fucking Marine right out of boot camp. You follow me? But I don't need to tell you this. You knew this already. Why? Because you're a bad motherfucker from across the street. You'll kick my ass from tree to tree. You follow me? 
So you got to look in the mirror and say to yourself, what do I really want out of this fucking life? I want to be, keep being a mutt, hanging out with these fucking mutts. I love you motherfuckers from the bottom of my heart. Without you, I got fucking nothing. Have a great day. Keep your eyes open. ISIS is everywhere. And remember, the biggest dick in the room is you. When you walk in there, they all got to bow down and suck your dick. They don't know nothing about what you have in your fucking coconut. You understand me? Drop knowledge on them, and that's enough is enough. I love you motherfuckers from the bottom of my heart. I'll see you tonight at 8 o'clock, all right? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, to my mom. I love you motherfuckers. See you later. The fuck is wrong with these people bothering me? You dare enter this motherfucking house on a Monday. You better come prepared, bitch. It's Monday, cocksuckers, and you better come prepared because they don't fuck around on Monday. Monday, most people come in. I had such a great weekend. Oh, my God. I, my friends are so fuck. Go fuck yourself. That was then. This is now, bitch. It's a whole new set of rules. It's Monday. If you ain't waking up with the taste of blood in your fucking mouth like a shark five feet from the shore, you fucked up. You understand me? Because Monday is when you go. Everybody else is like still from the weekend. You fucking go eat their fucking lunch. They don't even know. They're not even thinking right. But you're out the box like a fucking fireman. You understand me? Uncle Joey here, ready to throw fucking heat this week. Podcast tonight at 8. Fucking uh, working out with Uncle Joey Wednesday at 8. 500 episode Wednesday of the church. We got a big fucking week happening. You understand me? The 29th of July, Philly, Pennsylvania. Listen, the Borgata is going to be off the fucking chain. Then we're going to get off stage and watch the John Jones fight. Who's better than fucking you? You understand me? So get your shit together. But beside all that stuff, it's Monday. You're not fucking around. You're writing your goals. You're tip-top magoo. You're eating your fucking cereal. You got that apple, the protein shake. You wash your balls. You cut your toenails. They can't stop you, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You know why? Because your Uncle Joey told you. That's why. But anyway, enough with the chitter-chatter. Let's get down to why we got together for You understand? Boom. I got some tremendous fucking reefer today. I got the horse with no name. It's always good to be out in the rain, in the desert, you can't remember your name because there ain't no one for it to give you no fame. You see what I'm saying? That's how we do it on a fucking Monday. The thought is there. Just because we're smoking a little weed doesn't mean nothing. We're just fueling the mental fucking energies in your mind to unleash them on these motherfuckers so there's no rebuttals today. It all goes your way. You understand me? It's you and me against the world. That's the bottom line today. And we're both doing the same thing. Don't think because I'm out here, I'm fucking knocking these fucking motherfuckers to death because every day somebody tries to go in your pocket. Every day there's a motherfucker in your pocket. You gotta tell him, listen, put your hand in there again. I'll put a mousetrap in there. I'll fuck you up. Or I'll cut the pocket off. And next time you put your hand in my pocket, you're gonna feel a fucking Cuban dick. <coughs> I'm on fire today, and I hope you are the same. Because this is the type of attitude that gets you out of that position, that position of feeling like shit. I got sick and tired of feeling like shit. For 27 fucking years, I felt like shit because I wasn't doing what I'm doing. Do what you're supposed to do, and this is a fucking cheesecake here. You understand? You live like a doctor. Like a doctor. Anyway, 
I don't know about you cocksuckers, but I'm stoned to the gills. And that's it. You heard what I had to tell you. Now go out there and do what the fuck. You're going to show up like one of the three wise men to them. By the way, those motherfuckers were Jews with big dicks. They didn't give a fuck. They didn't give a fuck. So you're showing up like the three wise men. That's what the Bible don't tell you. Those three wise men were some bad motherfuckers. They're the type of people that came to look, shut their mouth. They were the three monkeys, you know what I'm saying? Mira, Oye, Ikaya. The most important thing in the fucking world. Anyway, 8 o'clock tonight, we got a special church, 499. One of your favorites. I hope you fucking swing by around 8 or watch it tomorrow morning. Beside that, that's it. You got your fucking mission for the day. Now go out there and tell these motherfuckers that you ain't taking it no more. You're doing it your way like Sinatra and fucking... 62, you know what I'm saying? I love you, cocksuckers. Without you, there's nothing. So let's do this together. Stay black. Have a great fucking day. And I'll see you savages tonight. 8 o'clock, be there or be fucking square. You understand me? Oh, yeah. They didn't come on my till I ping away. Sorry. You're like, Joey, where the fuck you been? I've been busy, all right? You know me, dog. I'm an old man. I'm trying to put the pieces together. I got the kid. I got the podcast. I'm writing a book. I'm writing a fucking special. I'm hanging out with my fucking peeps. You know how it is. I'm trying to stay healthy. My back's fucked up, but I went to acupuncture yesterday. She cut that motherfucker. She put needles all over me. In fact, this little Chinese chick put me up in the fucking air, upside down, and blew a dark fucking acupuncture needle right at the bottom of my ball sack. I'm happy. I haven't been this happy in years. I suggest you do the same. Find yourself some little fucking Asian. Put yourself upside down and have it just blow a dart right into your fucking nutsack. It's over after that. But Joey, what's with the fucking darts in the nutsack? When are we gonna spark? When are we gonna let this fucking herb man free? Say no more. Now that's the way I like it, cocksucker. They should call this KCOG weed. I'm happy. I'm hearing that's the way. Uh huh. I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ooh. All right. I gotta shake it off. I just got a fucking brain freeze from this reef. I haven't been able to go to jujitsu all week because my back. But if everything goes as planned, I should be in there fucking doing hip escapes on fucking Sunday, cutting it down. I've been sticking to my diet, and everything is kumsi kumsa. The special is fucking 45 minutes in. You people, huh? I'm not feeling well. What the fuck is going on? I can't focus. I don't smoke some of this shit. I'll have you focus and I'll have you fucking sing an opera in a week. You understand me? You can't focus. My mother drank when I was in the womb. My mother smoked pot when I was in the womb. You think I can fucking focus? No, but this and your back, you see what I'm saying? So we did a bowl of the fucking Larry. We did a bowl of the heroin. Now we gotta do one more bowl of the fucking presidential and I'll let you guys go, okay? I don't wanna take up your whole day. I just wanted to get together with my favorite fucking people in the world, smoke a bowl like a fucking civilian and go on with your days. There's no harm in that. You wanna throw me in fucking jail? Throw me in fucking jail for that. All we're doing is getting together and fucking motivating one another. Maybe you're feeling a little gloomy today, you know what I'm saying? And that's it and that's that. You know, that's it and that's that. I'm just an old fat fuck with felons. Who the fuck am I to, you know? But I'm telling you, this is the way to do it. Nice, now you go out into the world. <laughs> Nobody bothers you, nothing really bothers you. And you end up and you make, you get home at night, which is the most important thing when you leave, is to fucking get home at night in one piece, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. Keep your fucking eyes off the phone today. Look around for these creepy motherfuckers. And that's it. Do the best you can be. Me, I'm going to smoke some dope. You know, I don't do much. I'm going to write some jokes today and then get on a fucking plane. And I'll see you cocksuckers tonight at uh, Mountain Home, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. I forgot. I, uh, what do you expect? You smoke it. You get me high and then you want to ask me fucking questions. What type of people are you? The church is ready for you too. Sebastian, whoever was on Monday, my buddy there, we're ready, we're ready for you. So get your shit together. Uncle Joey loves you. We had a nice little tete-a-tete, -tete, right? 
This is good enough for me. I mean, what, what, what do you want? You want me to rub your fucking feet and bring you a Danish? That's never gonna happen. Beside that, I love you. Stay black. You don't give a fuck what they think. You know what I'm saying? Today you wake up, you plant your fucking flag in somebody's ass. If you ain't doing that, you try again tomorrow. Don't forget to smoke reef and do your fucking push-ups. All right, I love you, cocksuckers. Stay black without you guys. I'd have nothing. You wanted it, you got it. It's the go, cocksuckers. The Lord's Day, motherfuckers. You could either lay there and watch football like a Morto Van, or you could get up, smoke some reef, and go do something with your life. You know what I'm saying? Like go stab a motherfucker or something on the Lord's Day. I went to church. I saw my daughter singing the choir, the whole fucking deal. Now it's time to sit back with the church family and smoke some reef as a fucking debt. You understand me? I'm not going to be bothering you people with some ho-hum shit. I went over to fucking before church because the weed store opens up at 8. I went over there to Ur Urban Trees and they got me hooked the fuck up with the shit that killed fucking everybody. You understand me? This shit killed fucking... What's that, that, what's that dude's name with the chocolate factory? Whatever the fuck his name is. He went down. Not Harry Potter, but the other fucking guy. Fuck Harry Potter. Here we go, you bad motherfuckers. Uncle Joey looking good today, sharp. Look at that. Looking like Steve Bonavento on 155th and fucking Amsterdam. It's the Lord's Day, motherfuckers. Uncle Joey here. Right in your motherfucking living room telling you how it is. Take a break from the football. Who gives a fuck? Unless you bet the game, what are you going to do? Jumping down with your fucking jersey on like some mook delure? Fuck that shit. <coughs> it's nice for the lung, you know what I'm saying? When you hear that fucking ear ringing like you're about to shoot fucking that dude at the restaurant, Michael Corleone, when he shot Salazzo. When you hear your ears ringing, that means either fucking you're scared... Your cortisol levels are rising. Or you're just about to see the devil. And in this case, I ain't robbing nobody. You don't see no fucking submachine guns. So I'm about to see the devil with my favorite fucking people. Because remember, I'm with you. You're with us. And they want, hey, listen, they can't fucking hang. You understand me? Because us, lo tienen que mamame la pinga. Vaya, para que lo sepan todo el mundo. Learn that word. I don't care if you're Irish. I don't care if you're Polish. I don't care if you're Chinese. Te tienen que mamate la pinga. That means they got to suck your dick. You understand me? Suck my dick and call me shorty. We'll do the shorty part later because it don't matter. I don't want them to know you're shorty. I want them to know te tienen que mamate la el morrongón. El tubo de carne, vaya. Joey, what's with the fuck in Spanish? You know I never watched Sesame Street growing up. Hey, what, what are you, you going to do? And that's it. And that's that. It's that fucking simple. You know what I'm saying? I don't need 20 people. I don't need to be jumping up and down. I need to show you I'm in a pool. <laughs> Look at me. Get the fuck out of here. I'm Uncle Joey, bitch. Old school. Nobody knows nothing. We fucking walk in the shadows. Nobody. Everybody else is jumping up and down, driving night. We, we show up in the shittiest fucking car. We, we always got to keep them confused because then if they're confused, they're all fucking balanced. You see what I'm saying? How do you knock somebody out? They gotta be off balance. Always remember that. That's a free one from Uncle Joey today. And that's that, and that's it. You know me. I'll be smoking weed all day thinking about you motherfuckers. By two o'clock, I'm all giggly, and nothing goes to waste here. We smoke everything. We smoke everything. We don't fuck around. We fill the pipe to the fucking brim. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to do, do something, do it right. Don't show up half coughing. <laughs> what the fuck? This is Uncle Joey here. You can't show up like a fucking mama look at the air. You got to show up fucking with two guns ready to go with your balls hanging, Jack. Hanging. I don't give a fuck. I'm a man. I show up with my ball. Two of them hanging. Ba, 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 ba. To like the bottom of one of those clocks that fucking tick. We're always fucking hanging, motherfuckers. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't got a man crush on nobody. You know what I'm saying?
get your shit together. One minute you got a man crush, the next thing you're at a fucking tent with Eric Rocha, and they're doing nasty things to you. You're gonna end up in a tent. What's wrong with you people? Like you're saying, motherfucker, like a doctor, you know what I'm talking about? I want to thank all you people who sent love out when my Debbie went down. It was a tough time for the fucking family. But listen, this is what it's all about. When I went on the internet, I put it down because that's what it's for. With a church family, we support each other. So I appreciate everything he said about Demi. Demi was a fucking soldier. He went out. He went out, when he came out, when, he, when we brought him back from the vet, we knew he was dying. But he came home, we took a look around, and he went in the fucking cage, head in first, because he didn't want to see nobody to see him in that condition. I talked to him a little before I left. I told him I'd meet him at the gate, that I loved him, that I'd see him till fucking, you know, I'd see him whatever. Fidel was waiting for my other cat and fucking sissy. And Finney, they're all waiting for you, so you got a place to go. I love you, I whispered in his ear. And he kind of rubbed my head on my lips, and I knew that he knew. These fucking animals know, dog. When you give an animal love, it's unconditional. But there's a different side to that. When that animal goes down, it fucks with you, you know what I'm saying, for a couple of days. So I'm happy I had you guys do this. This is uh, weird to say. You guys always come up to me at shows. You help me with it. You guys help me with this, so... This is what it's all about. We help each other. Even though I'm a fucking savage, you know what I'm saying? I'll rob you. If you fall asleep, I'll finger bang you. Shit like that. But in this situation, we helped each other. Let's smoke another one. Who the fuck are you kidding? <sighs> you can't walk on one leg, as they say my name. But you know what I'm saying? Podcast will be We got two of them for you. Then we got Irvine, you know. I gotta tighten it up a little bit more. I gotta tighten up the act, put some new jokes in there. But whatever, you come to the fucking show, you're gonna fucking have a good time. We're gonna have a good time Wednesday in Irvine. We're gonna have another good time Friday night in Irvine. What do you think? Should we do this? There we go. Now it's gonna fucking hit like a fucking mule. Listen, when I smoke weed, I wanna get a right fucking punch to the jaw. I love it. I don't wanna do nothing unless, you know, we go deep here. <laughs> la 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 me 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 oh it all over it ain't over to the fat lady sings and she's busting out a limo right now waka 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 ah that's it and that's that i love you guys have a great day with your family monday Knock it out of the park if you're traveling. Be safe. Oh, yeah. Put eye down. ISIS is everywhere. Keep your eyes open, especially when you're going through the fucking line. Watch your shit. Watch your computer. And be safe, okay? I love you, motherfuckers. I'll be with you. What's happening, you bad motherfuckers? Uncle Joey here on the Lord's Day. I don't know what's wrong with my fucking camera, but I ain't worried about it. As long as we can do this one-on-one, -on -one, that's all that matters. You understand me? It's Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. Wash your pussy, powder your balls. It's all over but the shouting. You understand me? We got a couple great weeds for you this morning. We got fucking Zeke. Banana OG over there. We got the fucking Mayans. Look at this shit. 22 points, 23 points. All of them. Urban trees right there in Studio City. And look at this one here. I don't even know what this is called. This is fucking Zombo weed right here. You understand me? That's how we're doing. Slinging dick and giving out chopsticks on the Lord's Day. You follow me? Everybody else is laying around. What are we going to do? You know what you need to do. Last week was last week. This week is this week. And somebody's swallowing some fucking juju juice. Anyway, the fucking beast is back. You understand me? I had him tucked away for a couple weeks. I had three of these. I got a big one, a medium one, and a little one, just in case. You know what I'm saying? You're caught in an elevator somewhere. Oh, 
fucking tremendous. I don't even know what that was. That was something that was in the drawer because I got another 23 different types of quality weeds in the drawer. All of them are over 25%. Why? Because I'm in town to see the fucking devil. I don't want no misunderstanding. Listen, from the bottom of my heart, I'm very, very grateful about what you guys watch, the degenerates and the response. Listen, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had a Netflix special. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been on top of my game. And if it wasn't for you, motherfuckers, I wouldn't be here. So the gratitude from the fat little bottom of my fucking heart goes out to you cocksuckers because I love you. If you know anything about anything, you know I don't fuck around and I fucking love you. If you want to be on top of your game, you got to hang out with the good people. Anyway, I'm excited about New York. Trust me. I'm going to get to see my family. I get to go to my grave. Thursday, the first night, is the 39th anniversary of my mother's death. So I'm flying in, I'm going right to the grave, putting the flowers down, smoking a joint, blowing some fucking smoke on a fucking tombstone, and then I'm loose. You understand me? Loose. Now we're going to smoke a little bit. Let's finish up this bowl. And then we're going to smoke some of this fucking hybrid Maya, you know, Mayans, whatever the fuck it is. I'm going to be out riding my fucking scooter all day. I love it when it goes in your nostrils and it wakes up your fucking nose hairs and shit. Somebody fought you prepared. But that's it and that's that. There ain't nothing special here. Uncle Joey's here solo, you know me. I don't need no fucking 20 people around me to show you who the fuck I am. Here I am, solo motherfucker. Looking you motherfuckers right in the eye because I don't give a fuck. I'm 55, I'm still alive. You know how lucky I am? What, are you fucking kidding me or what? I'd smoke a little Mayan now. Ooh. You know how we do it. Never a dull fucking moment. You understand me? You want dullness, get a day job and hang out and talk to your buddies. You want to rock the motherfucking house? You hang with Uncle Joey. You go for what you want. Who gives a fuck? You set your mark and you enforce it. Ain't nobody going to give it to you. The bluebird of happiness ain't going to knock on your door and just hand you what you want. You gotta go out there and say, I don't give a fuck, Jack. Whatever. You put a fireman's hat on, like fucking, like, uh, what's his name? Fucking, uh, anyway, don't really matter. You put a fireman's hat on, let the shit roll off you. You duck, you jive, you weave, and before you know it, boom. You lay the right hand, and there you are. They ain't gonna stop you. Just let them know I'm with you, you're with me, and these motherfuckers wanna be with us. You're with Uncle Joey, baby. The game ain't stopping now. You're moving, I'm moving, we're all moving together in unison. <laughs> You're gonna show these motherfuckers. You're gonna show these motherfuckers, you understand me? If Uncle Joey could do it and he's a fucking loser, I could fucking rule the world. That's what you gotta be thinking. I can rule the world. What I'm trying to say to you is, you got the world by the balls, are you kidding? You're sitting there depressed, what am I gonna do? You know what you gotta do, what the fuck? Oh. What do you think, one more? Let's do one more. What are you gonna do? There's fucking black kids in Africa with flies all over them right now, wishing they could be doing a bang with us, you understand me? Stop, woe is me, woe is dick. I get woe and I, woe sucks my dick. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> nice. Nice, this is a, it's a good fucking game. Remember when for Spider got shot in the leg, but it's a good fucking game, the f good fucking game. That's it, and that's that. You know how we do it. I show up. It's the Lord's Day. I don't give a fuck. You pray for your family. You have dinner with your family. Today, that's the most important thing is your family. Monday, go stab somebody in the neck 15 times. This has got nothing to do with me. You had dinner with your family. That's the most important thing. Beside that, the podcast will be up for you. Beside that, I'll be in Gotham rocking this motherfucking weekend. And that's it. I love you, motherfuckers.
stay black. See you during the week. Happy Friday, bitches. It's your world, motherfuckers. Uncle Joey's just visiting, motherfuckers. What's happening? It's a beautiful day to be alive. The wind's blowing. The birds are chirping. And you know what? You got the motherfucking world by the balls. All you need is a little reefer, a fucking plan, and you could be the next Fidel Castro. Have your own fucking island. Starve people. Bitch smack them. Make sure they fucking get back out of there on a fucking raft. That's the power you have. You don't even fucking know it because you're sitting there caught up in your fucking gold tea. And what's my next tattoo going to be? Well, how about a tattoo of a fucking dick? How about that? Going out of the fucking universe. How about that fucking tattoo? Joey D is here. Ready to bring you the fucking startup for the day. Oh, shit. Little Diamond OG from Perennial. But this shit. Oh, I let this fucking dry overnight. I, let, I put it in the car yesterday in 90 degree fucking weather. And it sat there all fucking day under the sun and just got more and more powerful. Oh shit. I'm gonna finish up this little diamond OG and it's already getting me, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> it was Friday, motherfuckers. Somebody's got your fucking lunch money in their pocket. When you're sitting there talking about your fucking new iPhone, who gives a fuck? That's what the problem is. iPhones and Ubers and shit. We talk about the dumbest fucking shit in the world. But who gives a fuck? We don't even need to talk, you understand? All we need to do is smoke and blow smoke at each other until one of us fucking passes out. You come to my fucking house, you get high with me, it's like a tear gas session. Love me, marijuana. Well, look at this. And it's nice and dry. Oh, oh, I'm gonna be fucked up all day today. You, to, you wake up, you're like, I'm gonna be stumped to the fucking kills all day. I can't take it no more. Get the fuck out of here. That's my world, bitches. Walking around scared and paranoid, and all these fucked up thoughts coming into your mind. <laughs> this time together. Just to have a laugh or sing a song But before you know it Comes the time we have to say So long I love you cocksuckers I'll be around, you know me though You wanna smoke, hit me up Bing, Joey, spark that motherfucker And I show up like Superman with a cape made of fucking hemp How's that? I love you motherfuckers Thank you for supporting the church. Thank you for laughing at my stupid jokes. And thank you for being you. You're fucking savages. You're not sensitive. You're not sucking into this fucking PC faggotry games and shit. I love you motherfuckers. Stay black. Remember in Spanish. Oye, viene. Todos estas maricones te tienen que mamarte la pinga. Oye, viene. A serio. Mama me tu, sabe? Méteme la lengua en el ojo del culo. Entonces ven y háblame con esa cara de pinga que tú tienes. I said I love you and I hope great things for you, right? Have a great weekend. Uncle Joey loves you. I'll see you mañana, maybe tonight, whatever. You never know. When I'm smoking dope, I'm on a damn. Stay black. <laughs>